What's up guys? Here I am again, Lizelle of Liz Tech. For the past days, I've been receiving questions like, what camera did I use for filming my reviews? So now, I'm gonna share to you the camera that I always use for filming my reviews, and this is Canon EOS N100. I've been using this for like six months now, and so far the experience is awesome. So, to know more about this camera, let's check this out. Canon EOS M100 is a portable kind of mirrorless camera. It's a friendly user and as you can see, it only has few buttons so it's perfect for beginners like me. So here, let's learn more about this camera. EOS M100 has a 24.2 megapixel advanced photo system type C sensor with Canon's Digic 7 imaging processor. It has dual pixel CMOS, EF or autofocus and it is capable up to 6.1 frames per second. What I also like about this camera is that it has a 3 inch tilt up LCD touchscreen so you can adjust settings via screen and can capture selfies with it. So here looking at the top, you'll see movie button, power button, shutter button, front dial, mood switch, and flash. And on the right side, you'll see strap mount, flash pop-up switch, terminal cover, and memory card cover. And on the left side, you'll see HDMI terminal and digital terminal. And at the bottom, you'll see end mark, tripod socket, battery cover and DC coupler terminal cover. So here in the front side, you'll see lens release button, EF lens mount index, contacts, lens lock pin, lens mount. And at the back part of it is the touch screen panel, the menu button, the Wi-Fi button, and playback button. Here you can see exposure compensation, the single image arrays, and up button. And on the left side, you can see the AE lock. And on the right button, you can see the flush. And the lower part is the information and the down button as well. EOS M100 screen can be opened to about 180 degrees. So under these shooting modes, we have fully automatic shooting with camera determined settings and in this part add a variety of effects and use your preferred settings and in this part is the recording movies EOS F100 is also has an exchangeable lens camera so it is cool because you can change what lens you like and what I also like about it is that you can swap colorful grip so to make it look cool so in its shooting modes, we have Scene Intelligent Auto, Hybrid Auto, Creative Assistant and under Scene, we have Self Portrait, Portrait, Smooth Skin, Landscape, Close Up, Sports, Food, Handled Night Scene, HDR Backlight Control, Grainy Black and White, Soft Focus, Fish Eye Effect, Art Bold Effects, Water Painting Effects, toy camera effect, miniature effect, and a lot more. And another thing that I like about EOS M100 is that it has connectivity like Wi-Fi, NFC, and Bluetooth. So you can easily connect your pictures from the camera to your phone and you can send it or upload it in social media without any hassle. And talking about its battery, EOS M100 has rechargeable battery and its battery life you can do approximately 295 shots at 23 degrees celsius, AE 50% and FE 50%. On its echo mode, you can take approximately 410 shots and on its movie recording, you can take approximately 125 minutes. It has also power saving so you can choose how many minutes you want so the display will turn off and it has 3-axis digital image stabilization for videos and it really works well. So here the contents of this camera when you buy it is you can get zoom lens which has EF or electrofocus M15 to 45mm with the aperture of F3.5 to 6.3 image stabilization stepping motor. It also includes 
next strap, battery charger, and now let's talk about its price. The current price of this in Lazada is $26,290. I'm not so sure if how much is this in mall. So the available color of this camera is white, black, and gray. Okay, so now let's talk about its best. Why this camera is still best for 2018? Because this camera is good for newbies. It's best for travel vlog. It's very user-friendly. Doesn't have a lot of button. And of course, it's affordable price. So that's it guys, I hope this camera review will help you a lot, especially to those who want to start vlogging but still searching for the best, portable and very easy to use camera. Well, I can honestly suggest this to you because uh, based on my experience, this camera is very easy to use, portable and I like the great performance of its camera and the video quality and especially the audio itself. And it also has a 3-axis digital stabilization videos. It's very good. But there are three things that I don't like about this camera. The first one is you can't put microphone in it because there is no slot for microphone. The second one is it can easily hit, especially if you are going to film like more than 10 minutes. And the third one is um, it doesn't have 4K videos. Well, anyway, these three are just minor issues and it's still forgivable. So stay tuned because I'll be giving a full camera testing of this Canon EOS M100. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you guys will like this. Comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. So see you again till my next reviews. Bye!